All right, Helen's Crab, season two. Number one. Number one. Erin surprised me on Mother's Day by telling me that she was gonna be a mother and I was gonna be a father. So I'm gonna one-up her and surprise her with a baby crib. This is quarter sawn white oak, because nothing but the best for my baby. It'll be something that the longer we have it in the family, the better it'll be. One day she can give it to her baby. You want it to be safe, and so making sure that the design fits with safety standards. It's gotta be 29 inches tall, so she can't climb up and out once she gets to that stage. And the spacing between the slats is a little over two inches. That way enough air gets through, but she can't get her little hand stuck in there. Can't get her head stuck through there. So for the design of it, our house is a craftsman style house. And so what I'm wanting to kind of do is kind of evoke that feeling. I still gotta add a couple little pieces of trim here and there. I'm gonna stain it all, and then I'm gonna reassemble it in her room. It's kind of a, a big moment for me. It's a big milestone to be able to build this for my firstborn child. Oh my gosh! Dad, so beautiful. It's the most beautiful thing you ever made. I think so too. It's so craftsman, like our house. Yeah. It's not too girly, so if we ever have another baby and it's a boy, then it would be perfect. So perfect. Everything about it is perfect. You think that baby girl will like it? Yeah. You like it, Helen? <laughs> she loves it. All right, Cody, this whole vanity is gonna be custom from the size to the design, everything. It's kind of fancy, kind of. Yeah, you know, a little, little bit. bit fancy. Yeah. Today I'm working with Cody. He's another woodworker and he's really good. So I'm gonna use this big slab here and cut four legs out. Okay. You wanna start pulling nails yeah, and plane? I'll nail this and plane it down. Yeah. Jim and Josh and I went out to Southeastern Bible College, had all these old pine floors that they were pulling up so we can do a lot with this. Elise's house, we're trying to stick to a really tight budget, but at the same time, she likes things a little a little elegant, a little fancy. Do a little guest drawing here. I like that. Perfect. So, check this out. For the drawer front? Yeah, just one piece. We got some doors, too. Oh, look at you. I snuck them in on you. We don't have much budget on this house at all, and this is a super cool custom piece for their bathroom. I mean, it would be very expensive if you had to buy it. Right, yeah. All right, I'm gonna work on finding some hinges and other hardware for it. Okay, I'll get this drawer made. Cool. All right. Yeah, this is a custom vanity. Custom built. Babe, this is really beautiful. Yeah, it's elegant. Towel storage, and then down here, this is where you keep the medicines and also hairbrushes. So feminine. This is looking good. <gasps> oh my Holy gosh. Holy mess. <laughs> this is I crazy. Cannot. This I is beautiful. And go, we did need to give you a vanity and it would be custom built so that it would fit. It is perfect, you guys. The Carson's kitchen table was a, it was a very fine piece of furniture. Hand cut. Dovetails. Dovetails, but the rack on the bottom. Yeah, we notched in the racks. Um, Rabbit joints. Yeah? Uh, okay. No, it was just more okay. of a. I'm trying. Um, I'm not a woodworker. More of a finger joint. It is still one of my favorites we've ever done. That is the most unbelievable piece of furniture. I bought six oak newel posts from the hardware store and cut the tops of them off and then turned them upside down. So and we could was, afford to make that table. And that was the legs. And this is all white oak, which is really strong, real durable, real hard. I mean, white oak's really hard to work with. 
but it's gonna be beautiful when we're finished, and the more they use it, the better it'll be. It's gonna have three legs on each side, four drawers. The leg will stand up like this. Okay. These will slip in. And then these slats are gonna run across the rails. It's gonna be one of the finest things we've ever built in here. It already looks like it. This will be a piece that they'll be able to, you know, pass down to kids one day or grandkids if they want to. Like, this will be one of those pieces of furniture that stays in a family forever, and that makes me so happy. Dang, that's fine. I mean, it's really fine. Watch the flowers. Watch the corner on the wall. How about that? Oh. Babe. You like it? Look at how beautiful it is. It's a really well-made, good piece of furniture. I'm so proud of you. You like it? I couldn't love it more. You are reaching like 90-year-old man craftsman level. I don't want to leave this room. Can I just live in this room forever? The Carsons might get tired of that. <laughs> this is the finest piece of craftsmanship that Ben's oh. ever made. He spent so much time that and love on beautiful. every detail. I wanted it to be something that would hold up over the years. I wanted this to be a, a workstation for you so you right. could beat on it, you can pound on it, you can throw pots on it, you can cut bread on it. This piece should last for 200 years. Well after years. your lifetime and your <laughs> children's children's <laughs> lifetime. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. Oh. I just can't wait to, you know, walk by and smell some of Miss Linda's cooking and just, you know, hey. Just checking in on y'all. Just checking in on the house, making sure everything's okay. Oh, you're making what's something that she can. A roasted chicken with some oh, rosemary. Is that a roasted lamb? Mm. Mm. We're going to be talking about Gwen and Mike Douglas. This one was really, really cool because Ben built a guitar. Oh my. oh my goodness, I can't believe it. I am more excited about this than I've been about anything in a long time. Maybe since Helen was born. No pressure. No pressure. Grant Batson's a phenomenal woodworker. He built guitars professionally for over a decade. He got out of that and now he does it for a nonprofit called Narrowgate. Yeah, you don't have to know anything. You don't have to bring a tool. You don't, have to, you don't even have to know which end of the hammer to pick up. Sweet, yeah. that sounds wonderful. Right, correct. Mike? shipped six guitars to the Cayman Islands. Gwen made him sell two of them, and I'm gonna replace one of them. What's first? I decided we were gonna go with maple, we're gonna go with cedar, and African wingy. Uh, this African is one wingy? Of African wingy, it's a great tone wood. It's one of my favorites. Uh, it sounds amazing, it looks really fantastic. Okay, so do the different woods sound differently? Absolutely. With maple, you're gonna get a, a little bit more bright volume. Mahogany is going to give a softer, warmer tone. Okay. Tell you what, un unfurl this guy. So what is this? This is aluminum foil. Oh, okay. Yeah. Squirt water all over How this much? thing. Just, I'll tell you when to stop. Grant and I became friends a long time ago. Grant is a pipe maker. He's a guitar maker. Very fine woodworking. Very fine woodworking. Small. How exciting for someone that collects guitars. Yeah. To have one handmade custom for you. So what I've got here is spring steel mm. and a thermal blanket. Slide this in. So what's the goal temperature? So we want it to be 200 degrees, and we are there now. We're going to crank this down. Now is this going to this heat going to darken it? It will. We're good to keep going? Yep, keep going. OK, that's good for now. Now I'll take this. Pull it down. Yeah, that is it, dude. You just bent the guitar side, baby. Uh, I feel like I'm gonna throw up. We'll get back to this tomorrow. What do you call that hole? Sound hole. <laughs> is that really what it's called? That's what it's called. So we're gonna cut the sound hole out right now, and we're gonna start at the top right here. When it comes to working on projects with other craftsmen, I'm a sponge. You know, getting to do something like make a guitar, unbelievable. I, I love it. You love to learn. I love to learn, I really do. I've learned more on this project than I probably have in the last five years. You kind of hit a spot where like you've done so much and there's there's more to learn, but you gotta devote the time and the, the passion to it. And I mean, I'm gonna struggle with giving this to Mike. So now we'll glue that in and cut it off. That's it. Golly, that's cool. Mike's gonna 
flip a guitar. Hey, hey, do you like yeah, that I guitar? I love the guitar. It's beautiful, yeah. yeah. You want to play it? Uh, that's okay. <laughs> you sure? <laughs> no, you want to hold it? Yeah. Is this one you built? Oh, my god. You're gosh. serious? That's for you. Oh, my goodness. Thank oh, you so much. Oh, my gosh. It may not be tuned right now. I could have talked about the guitar all day. In reality, we had talked about the guitar for about 45 minutes. But when it's edited, I mean, you have to move things along. Yeah, this isn't a show about guitar. <laughs> I want to show them the kitchen and the den. You want to show them the kitchen and the den? Yes. But don't, don't you want to look at the guitar? <laughs> I do, I do.